In this video we're going to look at adding narrations or soundtracks to a piece of video within our timeline. The first thing we want to do is we actually have a look at the timeline and if you look down the left Adobe Premiere Elements the timeline is set up as video 2, audio 2, video 1, audio 1, narration and soundtrack. You can have as many video and audio tracks as you like but you will see that the way they are set out can be a little bit confusing. So what we're going to do is we're going to hide all the audio tracks that we don't necessarily need. And how we do that is we're going to right click inside the timeline and uncheck show audio tracks. Now we can see we've got video 2, video 1, audio 1, narration and soundtrack. If I was to add a track, I can add a video track. And video 3 doesn't show any audio. So the first thing we're going to do next is we're going to drop a piece of video down into our timeline from our project bin here. I'm going to drop this track called Jodar the Cutaways and I'm going to drop it down onto video 1 and audio 1. What we're going to do is we're going to look for this actress here called Heather in the red hair. And if we go back to our project bin, I've also got another track called Heather, which I'm going to drag down onto video one. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to get rid of the audio from this track where the actors are doing their warm-up exercises. And we simply do that by highlighting the track so it goes purple. We're going to right-click, and then we're going to choose Unlink Audio and Video. Now if I click anywhere else in the timeline and quick click back again, you can now see by clicking on the audio, only the audio is highlighted. Or if I click on the video, only the video is highlighted. So we're going to get rid of this uh, audio from this track. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight it. And then I'm going to right click and cut. You can also use the backspace key. First thing we're going to do is we're going to find where Heather is on this video. So if I use the zoom tool, zoom straight into our video and I'm going to find say this bit where Dot is gesticulating. First thing I need to do is highlight the track as you can see it's gone to a purple colour and I'm going to click timeline split clip. So that will be the start of our cutaway. We'll go on a little bit further until just before the camera moves away from Heather and I'm going to do timeline and split clip. Now I've got this small piece of Heather during a workshop. Let's see if I can find another piece on the video where we can find Heather. And there's another piece there. So we'll highlight our clip, timeline, split clip. And we'll drag that on a little bit more and then do it again. Our timeline, split clip. And now I'm going to drag that second clip and I'm going to put that on top of Heather's interview. I'm not going to need the rest of this video, so I'm just going to right click, cut, cut, cut. So now on video two, we've got footage of the actors doing their workshop and on video one we've got Heather actually speaking. Hello my name is Heather and I'm an actress. I've been acting with Joe Dart and the Actors Film Group for um, three years. It's coming up to now. Um, we've done show meals and foundation short films. And so as you can see we can hear Heather being interviewed but we're actually seeing a cutaway of Heather doing uh, warm-up exercises. <laughs> That video will then go back to the interview. Um, I've got my Lambda acting medals with bronze, silver, gold. And so there you go. Simply getting rid of one audio track and we're using the video from that track to make our interview seem a little bit more descriptive visually. Next thing we can do is that we can actually ha add a sound file which will be something that I've recorded earlier on, on a dictaphone. So I'm going to go to Get Media. And then I'm going to go to Files and Folders. 
and I'm gonna find in our library track that I recorded earlier. And this is my capture scratch and it's actually a Windows Media audio file but you can have a WAV file any particular sound file will do whether it be mp3 WAV or AIF so I'm going to import that into our project as we can see it's there but if we look into our project bin here is our soundtrack so what I'm going to do first I'm going to scroll down so I can see the actual narration track here and I'm going to drag our sound file into the narration track I'm going to go back to the Jodar the Cutaways and again I'm going to right click unlink video and audio and I'm just going to delete the audio track now this sound file so this is a soundtrack of myself talking about our group and the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to find some more video which we will have this general piece and again I'm going to highlight timeline split clip go a little bit further and I'm going to do exactly the same timeline and split clip I'll just delete that first part of the clip and this small clip now I'm going to move on to video one which is the guys warming up now we should hear the audio file on the narration track here against the video of the war going along just press play writer standard comedian and works with Joe Darda almost exclusively creating films comedy shorts and also serious films and that is to add a soundtrack I'm going to drag that soundtrack down. I'm going to find another piece of video that we've got with the actors doing their warm up again, and I'm just going to make that slightly smaller. And then I'm going to go back to our Get Media Files and Folders. We'll use um, a track from The Beautiful Self. it is in our project bin here and this time instead I'm going to drag it down to the soundtrack track here just make that fit by using the grab handles and now we should go from cutaways and films of other companies too um, basically that's about just about it but um, I live my acting and as we're moving on a bit we've now got our sound file Standard comedian and works with Joe Darda almost exclusively creating films. And then going down to the soundtrack, we'll have the same video with some music. You can use any sound files you wish. You can use bits from videos, but it's a, it's a good idea if you're going to if it's going to be a narration or if it's going to be a soundtrack to actually use the tracks that are provided for you in Adobe Premiere Elements. That is a tutorial for splitting sound and adding soundtracks and narration.